Good day, students. I am Mr. Rafiu Jamiwa Deni, ACA, your financial account teacher. Our topic for today is contract account. Introduction. In the execution of a big project, such as construction of building, roads, bridges, etc., requires special accounting. Such projects are contracted out to those who will eventually complete the project. Most of these projects usually take a longer period before completed, more than one year. Accounts are prepared on an annual basis. We will be looking at how such projects are accounted for and how profits will be recognized in construction contract accounts. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to 1. Explain the term construction contract in their own words. Two, itemize the characteristics of contract. Three, explain different terms used in construction contract. Four, prepare contract account to determine the amount of profit to be recognized annually. Construction contract. Construction contract involves the execution of works that are civil and electrical engineering in nature. Construction contract is the application of job costing to relatively large cost units, particularly units that take a considerable length of time in, to complete and are constructed away from the enterprise's premises. Contracts are undertaken to customers' requirements and specifications which is generally of constructioner. For example, construction of buildings, ships, bridges, roads, etc. In all these cases, contract account is opened. A unique number is allotted to each contract and a separate account is prepared for each individual contract. Karasari 6, 1. The cost that is direct is usually large. Two, it is site-based. Three, it is undertaken to customer's requirement. Four, it is of relatively long duration. Five, there is low indirect cost. Nature of contract. One, short-term contracts. These are contracts which have short-term duration. They are expected to be completed within a period of one year. Two, long-term contracts. They are contracts which are expected to be completed over a period exceeding 12 months. A contract that is required to be accounted for as long-term will usually extend for a period exceeding one year. Definition of terms. One, revenue recognition. This is the process of accounting for revenue in the financial statement when it has been earned. Two, contracts work in progress. This is the accumulated certifiable cost relating to contract that is yet to be completed. Three, mobilization fees. This is the amount advanced by employer to contractor to enable construction work to start. Four, contract certification. This is a process by which the project architect or engineer issued a certificate to evidence the value of work done on a construction contract as at a particular date. Five, retention monies. There is frequently a contract clause that entitles the customer contractee to withhold payments of a portion of the contract value, usually 10%, for a specified period after the end of the contract. This is done to see the construction withstand a test of time. Let us go on a short break now. We'll be back to continue. Welcome back. 
accounting entries. The procedure for preparing a contract account is to open a separate account for each contract. Debit it with all contract costs, e.g. materials, labor, etc. and credit with the value of contract. The difference between these represents the contract profit or loss. Summary A. Open an account for the contracts. B. Debit all contract direct costs. C. Credit materials, plans, or other items transfer from the contracts. D. Debit head office overhead charged to the contract. E. Credit contract price. F. Transfer balance, profit or loss, to the profit or loss account. Profit recognition. In accounting for each particular type of contract, every enterprise should use either completed contract method or the percentage of completion method. A. Completed contract method. Here, yeah, costs incurred on the contract should be separately accumulated until the contract is completed. A contract is regarded as completed only when all the activities relating to it are accomplished. Under this method, no profit is recognized until the contract has been fully completed. It is suitable for short-term contracts. B. Percentage of completion method. Under this method, profit is recognized based on the degree of work done. How much profit should be taken on uncompleted contracts depend on circumstances, particularly how near the contract is to completion. The proportion of revenue in relation to the work done should be determined by the percentage of estimated total revenue that the incurred cost to date bear to the estimated cost. It is applicable where cost of completion can be calculated with a degree of certainty. Method of calculating profit under percentage of completion method. Contract value. Less cost incurred to date. Estimated cost to completion. Ratification cost. And that will give us estimated profit. Profit to be recognized by any of the following. A. Cost incurred to date divided by estimated total cost times estimated total profit. Or B. Value of work certified over total contract price multiplied by estimated total profit. Where there is no adequate information such that the provision above could not be applied to determine the profit to be recognized, the traditional method of calculating national profit will be used as follow. Profit to be taken equals to 2 over 3 multiplied by cash received divided by value of work certified times national profit. To calculate national profit, value of work certified, less cost of work certified, that is cost of work incurred to date, cost of work not yet certified, and that will give us national profit. The specimen of the contract account, material issued on the debit side, wages paid, wages accrued, subcontractor charges, plant at cost, overhead, plant hire, architect fees, plant and material transferred, head office overhead charges, direct expenses, material from store, establishment charges, labor engaged. And on the credit side, we have material returned, plant and material transferred, material on site carried down, plant carried down, cost of work certified, cost of work not certified, and that gives us the total. Then on the debit side, we brought down cost of work certified, while on the credit side, we have the value of work certified. The difference between the two will give us the national profit. Let's go on a short break now. We'll come back to continue. We 
Welcome back. Assignment. Use the format above. Rafu Construction Company has a contract for construction of a five-floor building at Ibadan with effect from 30th September 2017. The target completion is 30th June 2019. The contract price is 250 million naira and the budgeted contract cost is 185 million naira. As of 30th June 2018, the company year end, the following figures were in the books of the contract company as regard the contract. Material issue from store, 25 million naira. Direct material purchase, 28 million naira. Materials returned, 3 million naira. Wages of site workers, 39 million naira. Plant purchase for contracts, 15 million naira. Plant hire charges for the period, 20 million naira. Site supervision salary, 7 million naira. Share of area office expenses, 11 million naira. Payment of subcontractors, 5 million naira. Accrued wages, 800,000 naira. Amount owed to subcontractors, 1 million naira. Value of work certified, 144 million naira. Cost of work not yet certified, 9 million naira. Cash received, 130 million naira. Retention, 14 million naira. Value of material on site, 4 million naira. Plant on site is depreciated at 20% per annum, regardless of date of purchase. Required, prepare the contract account, compute the amount of profit that may be taken to the profit or loss account for the year ended 30th June 2018. Thank you for listening.